Hey guys and dolls, today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks for wearing a wig and a wig cap. I highly recommend if you're going to wear a wig to wear a wig cap. It just kind of keeps everything in place and keeps your hair down and out of the way and make sure that if you have like layers or baby hairs or whatever, it just kind of keeps it all under wraps and it just makes the wig stay on easier, especially like my hair is very slickery and very like baby fine and so the wig caps alone can sometimes slip off but the wig by itself without a wig cap, oh heck no, it's going to be all over the place. So um, I do have some kind of different methods that I use that I haven't seen anyone else do in a video, especially um, for like mid length hair. I've seen a lot of wig cap videos for long hair but not any for short hair or for uh, long or like mid length hair. So first you'll need a wig and this is from Gothic Lolita Wigs. How, I mean this color looks super cool on camera. It's a really nice bright teal wig. The next thing that you'll need are two wig caps. So I like to get one of these like stocking wig caps for the first layer and then the second layer I do one of these like netted ones. I highly, highly, highly recommend the netted ones because you can put bobby pins in them a little bit easier. And if you have longer hair, they stretch more so it's easier to get more of that hair in them. And then you'll need like some duck clips like these and then some bobby pins or I think in the UK they call them hair grips. And then some of these ones which are they're also like a hair grip or a bobby pin, but they have sort of like a, a like a loopy loop thing on them and they grip the hair really, really good. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing is I'm going to put my hair up in like a half, whatever you call it, just kind of get the top portion of my hair out of the way. Next, I'm going to get a little tiny hair tie like this and I'm going to put the bottom portion of my hair all up in it. If you want to, you can get a brush and really comb it all into place. Now, if your hair is very slick, like if it's like fresh, you know, first day hair and it's very slick or whatever, for whatever reason, it's slippery, I would recommend putting a little bit of hairspray in your hair just to give it a little bit of grit. So now that I have my ponytail in, I'm going to flip it up and take some of these really strong hair grip thingies and secure the hair with two. One going in one direction and one going in the other direction. Like that. So it's nice and flat. Then I'll do the top portion and I like to secure the bottom section down first. I don't know, you do what works for you. So I'm going to again comb the hair back. So gather the hair into sort of like a high ponytail only this time we're not going to secure it with that because it kind of creates a weird bump. This time we're going to kind of fold the hair back. Do you see how I'm doing that? And grab more of our super heavy duty grips. And so now we have hair that is pinned back, but rather rather flat. Now, if you have very long hair, one thing that works really well is to do a French braid all the way back, but because my hair is kind of short, it just, it's more trouble than it's worth. So now what you want to do is to make all these little flyaway hairs lay down. So I take a bit of hairspray, kind of go around, hat, and slick it down. Sometimes if I'm wearing like a dark colored wig, I'll leave um, like my sideburn hair out because it kind of helps to blend it in, but not today, no, no, no. So now we're gonna put on the first wig cap and this is one of those, you know, just like mesh random wig caps. And I'm going to put it on. Super exciting, very fashionable. Okay, and tuck it behind the ears and push as much of the hair into it as humanly possible. And then you're going to want to bring that up to the hairline. And you see all those little hairs in the back are nice and tucked into it. Now we're going to start putting uh, more clips in. So more hair grips or bobby pins or whatever. So put usually two in the front on the sides. And then I'll do two in the back. 
on each side. And then we get to the second wig cap. And the reason why I like to do two is because I need the extra security because my hair is so baby fine. You might not end up needing to, but I just find that this works best. And then I'll pull that one. Ooh, mine's ripping. Awesome. Do you see this little tear here? That sucks. Okay. So get that on and then I'll pull it like this. Hopefully you guys can see. And then I'll take a hair grip and poke it through both, both hair caps or wig caps. And I'll sort of twist it around and poke it through to secure it to the hair, to the both wig caps. It's all very, very secure now. However, I'm going to put on just a couple more clips because I don't want this ish going anywhere. So now I have both my wig caps on. They are nice and secure. The clips are in, everything's nice and good. What I'm gonna do now is my little secret weapon and that is to use a hairspray all over to really solidify everything. Uh, it will kind of form like a little hair helmet for you. And I'm telling you when you do this, it lasts all day and all night. So we're really gonna Now, if you don't have problems with wig slippage, you might not need this step. I have problems with it because of the fineness of my hair, so this is a necessary step for me. I'll also take a little extra, get those baby hairs, those little stubborn guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and harden before I put the wig on. In the meantime, let me go ahead and show you how I tighten the wig. It has these little elastic bands on the inside that you can adjust, and you want the wig to be tight enough to where it feels secure, but you don't want it so tight that it hurts your head. So for me, I'm gonna go on that second little rung there. All right, so let's go ahead and get this wig on. I'm gonna start from the front and I'm gonna hold that right there at the front of the wig cap and bring the rest of the wig around at the back, pulling it down. And then bring that wig down below the wig cap in the back. So once you have the wig on secure, you want to give it the wiggle test. You want to jump around or dance around or do whatever and make sure that it's going to be nice and secure. This feels really wonderfully secure and then you're free to style it. I'm going to come up the bangs, you know, comb the sides out a little bit. I really like this wig. Um, this is from Gothic Lolita Wigs. I was looking for like a, like a Lady Gaga-esque blue wig because I love this color hair on me, but maintaining it in real life is just such a pain. And then also because I wear my hair a little longer, it's a cool way to have a bob again. So. so there you have it. That is how I apply my wigs or put my wigs on. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See you. Bye. I am Iron Man. Na -na 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 -na. Iron Man. Who really knows the words? Not me, obviously. <laughs> when I sat down to kind of play with makeup today, this is what came out, and I'm really happy with the result. I hope you guys like it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. This was kind of douchey. Whatever. <laughs>